Hi there! Today looks like a nice day to investigate a UI freeze using .trace. Let's dive in. Here's a sample application that loads a bunch of files. It will reverse the text in every selected file when we click the Process Files button. A background worker thread then handles all this work and reports the status to the user interface. However, if we click the button here, it does feel a little bit laggy when running. So let's see if we can find out why. We will profile the startup project here from Visual Studio and then use the timeline profiling mode. Our application will start and we can now try and reproduce the issue. So let's load some files from disk and then click the process files button. In our application we can see progress and in the profiler tool window we can see the CPU and memory usage go up, so it's definitely doing something. Once finished, let's get a snapshot to investigate. The trace will open this snapshot in Visual Studio, but of course if you prefer you can also open it in the standalone viewer. From the snapshot overview here, we can already see some UI freezes were registered by .trace. These are marked in purple. If we click the UI freeze filter, we can then easily select the time interval in which the UI freeze was happening. .trace will filter all of the related views here as well, so we can see methods that were running during this time frame. Now what could be the cause of this UI freeze? This could be caused by long or frequent blocking garbage collection, blocking of the UI thread by another thread, or excessive work being done on the UI thread. Let's look at all of them and then see what we can find. When we enable the garbage collection filter, we can see how long the garbage collector actually blocked our application. This seems to be a very small value compared to the length of the UI freeze, so probably this is not going to be the main cause. Let's remove the garbage collection filter and look at thread state. Since we have already selected a main thread here, we conclude that the main thread was actually doing some work for at least a couple of seconds here. Let's apply the running filter so we can see what type of work was going on. Under methods and subsystems, we can now see all the methods that took the most time. We can filter out system methods and that leaves us with main as the heavy hitter. Now, the main method spends most of its time processing Windows messages related to being a WPF application. So we can safely ignore this first one here and look at the next one, process in progress. We can double click it to navigate to source codes. Looks like this method is an event handler that updates the status label. That should be okay to do on the UI thread, right? Well, it turns out that we are invoking the event much too often in the process files methods. Every 100 lines that are processed, we update the UI by triggering this event. Let's update our code and change this to every 1000 lines. We can then build our solution and from the menu we can profile our startup configuration again. We'll go again with timeline profiling and run our application. Once everything is up and running, let's select some files again. We want to make sure that we're reproducing the issue we had before, so we're taking the exact same steps here. Once finished, we can grab a snapshot again and see it open in the .trace2 window in Visual Studio. If we now look at the UI freezes again, we can see that we actually resolved the freeze we had before. The other freeze we see here in the timeline is in the Open Files dialog, it seems. Thanks to timeline profiling and its rich filters, we tracked down a UI freeze and fixed it, making the experience for users of our application much better. Do check the other screencasts that we have, as well as our website and web help. Thank you for watching and see you next time.